So I am here doing an open house in one of my listings in Riverside Club. And I'm standing outside like I always do the whole time, waving at people as they go by, talking to previous clients, people stopping, having conversation while I'm doing the open house. And whether people come in or not, I still talk to people outside as they stop and talk to me. And the most amazing thing happened to me the most amazing thing that's happened pretty much, I think, since I started my business eight years ago. So a gentleman pulls up in his golf cart and he's got a whole bunch of fishing equipment and all kinds of stuff. It just looks like he's ready to go have a great time fishing. And he pulls up and he says, you don't know me you know my wife and my wife knows you and I want you to know something. I have a will and you are in my will. He said that to me and I was like, what? And he proceeded to tell me that he is extremely historical and organized and that when he wanted to buy a house in one of the exclusive communities I work out of I had corresponded with his wife at length and he said you changed my life from the correspondence between my wife and you he said I've been here two years and yeah it's the happiest I've been in a long time so I'm thinking wow that's great I said where do you live because I'm thinking I sold him the house and he told me and I thought I don't remember selling that house and then he said no no you didn't sell me the house I bought it from your competitor and I was like okay that's I guess okay not it doesn't make me happy but you know it is what it is but he continued to say you corresponded with my wife at length and we ended up buying here in this community that I love and you changed my life. But the reason you're in my will is something else. And I said, okay. He said, you did a video and that video made up my mind on an action that was gonna happen when I die. And I still went, okay. And to backtrack a little bit, I have major competition in a couple of my communities because I'm a mobile home broker and I'm a ridiculously persistent, competitive person. And I love being good at what I do. And if I'm not good enough, I'm going to be good enough. I'm just going to keep improving every day. So I tend to do some videos that can be a little bit touchy because I work all the time. I work on weekends. I do open houses and show homes on holidays. I am always answering my phone, always going live on videos, doing TikToks, doing Facebook, doing YouTube. And I always look and see what my competition is doing. Are they working when I'm working? Are they working weekends, Sundays, holidays? Not always. So I did a video, which I've done several times of my competition on a holiday when I was working. I drove by the office of my competitor and they were not working. Nobody in the office, doors were locked, nobody there. And they have a decent amount of listings, but how do you get a hold of someone when it's closed if you have a listing and somebody wants to buy? So I did a video. And I, in the video, mentioned and showed how I was in front of my competitor's office. And I'm working, but they are not. And it shows that they are closed for three days. Three days of not answering phones, showing listings, helping buyers, taking calls, emails, the whole bit. Because they have a secretary and everything. I answer my phone all day long. He said to me, this wonderful man in the golf cart with all the fishing equipment. He said, that video made me 
put you, Rhonda, in my will. And I said, okay, and how? And he said, I saw that video and I put in my will that if something happens to me or my wife, you are the only person to list my home. And I got goosebumps. Goosebumps. I thought nobody has ever done anything that nice or had that much faith in me and my company to put me in their will to sell their home if something happens to either him and his wife because of a video that I did that shows that I work all the time. So thank you. You touched my heart and I appreciate it. And I am so happy that I always give as much as I can to make sure that if I'm gonna list your home or you're looking for a home, I'm gonna be here. <laughs>